there is a there is a good way to actually stimulate the economy. <laughs> you could uh, you could give me my rights. <laughs> You could let me move the railroads. <laughs> you could let me remove the telephone poles. <laughs> I could put to work about two and a half million Americans. <laughs> we could stimulate the economy for the next 50 years. <laughs> and we could stop thinking that everything... Well, it sounds good changing the tax structure, but that's not really the problem. <laughs> the problem is the income of the population. I know it's 3.7% unemployment, but if I looked at the inflation difference of today's wages versus what they were in the 1990s, I would say that more people are working and they're earning a lot less than they used to. Ouch. Now, why don't we do a real comparison? Ouch. Apples to apples, <laughs> President Trump. Of your 3.7% unemployment, what is the inflation adjusted income of those that are United States citizens? They're making 20% less than they were in the 90s. There's lots of minimum wage jobs. Mm -hmm. But I know the union membership has gone down over the last 10 years. Ouch. I know that the actual income of fifty dollars to $100,000. Oh. Well, it's good that they're working. But the truth is, mm -hmm. the greater the amount of income of each and every employee the more they pay in taxes. We have um, two tax systems. Yes, mm -hmm. we have what's published. <laughs> then we have the AMT, the Alternative Minimum Tax. <laughs> Has the White House ever heard of AMT? I mean, <laughs> considering the president is a billionaire and he didn't get to be a billionaire just last year. <laughs> I got it, though, <laughs> How many years have you been in the top percent of income earners where the alternative minimum tax was the taxation that you yourself had to pay <laughs> looking back 25, 30 years ago? <laughs> See, there was some loopholes in the 70s and maybe early 80s. Yes, there was. <laughs> maybe President Donald Trump remembers way back when, when they first introduced the AMT. <laughs> And they don't tell anybody about it unless you actually have an income that puts you into the alternative minimum tax bracket. <laughs> now, to be able to get Americans, <laughs> see, this 15, 25, 28, and 35% is, it's all bullshit. Okay, everything right now. <laughs> it is. Half of America, remember that Mitt Romney when you said it during the campaign when you spent $1.2 billion attempting to become the president? <laughs> Fifty percent of the American population doesn't pay any income tax. That's right. <laughs> of those that do, <laughs> probably the top ten to fifteen percent are AMT <laughs> income taxpayers. <laughs> so the truth is, <laughs> why don't we just tell the truth about what the actual? <laughs> <laughs> Seems confusing for those that are not in the alternative minimum tax bracket. Yes. Of your 3.7% unemployment. Yes. <laughs> How many of those employed? Yes. The 96.3% <laughs> are actually AMT tax. <laughs> it sounded good. 